You know, most nights we think about going out, we probably go Chinese or these days even Indian. But when was the last time you thought about American food? Classic American gear from the Deep South. Well, if you love your jazz and quality food, I reckon we found just the place. There's something unique. No, make that many things unique about the Jazz City Diner in Crown Street, Darlinghurst. You can settle into the modern version of the booth, decked out in 1950s style, with your very own jukebox playing the greatest jazz pioneers of all time. This is the brainchild of chef and owner Uncle Dan, who dishes up the tastiest fare this side of the Mississippi. You will melt over the fried green tomato salad that looks and tastes as pretty as a pitcher. And don't be put off by the name. The Coca-Cola braised beef short ribs are absolutely mouth-watering, and so is the Cajun-inspired seafood jambalaya. But wait, what's this? Chicken and waffles? There's a restaurant in Los Angeles called Roscoe's, and they're famous for their chicken and waffles, and we're doing that here. I know what you're thinking, folks. Maple syrup on chicken. Don't knock it till you've tried it. The Colonel's got nothing on this. This food is seriously addictive, so you won't be able to say no to the desserts. The banana pie. <laughs> like, seriously, we saw that and we're like, we have to go there. How good does it look? Oh, and you know what? The pecan pie, even better. Well, you can't come to an American jazz diner without having a burger. And this place has got over 10 of them. Check it out. That and a Texas cheese chili burger. I want one of those, Sue Ellen. Have you got one for me? Come on. And she does, and it apparently is quite warm. Let's give it a go. Goodness me, it looks good. <laughs> and it tastes good. But it's really hot. Sue so Ellen, cool triple O, I need some water or milk. Oh man, those Texans, they, they're tougher than us, I say. It's really hot. Feel the burn at Jazz City Diner in Darlinghurst. Main start at 25 bucks. Give them a bell. You know, the Americans, they fought over this flag long and hard in the north and the south with their civil war. And I reckon you'll be fighting too, whether it's diner or restaurant. This time we've come to Neutral Bay, where they serve the best ribs and the best wings this side of the Harbour Bridge. And you know what? They had a bit of a nibble. Huh. And with that homemade barbecue sauce, I reckon they're on to something. At the Blue Plate Bar and Grill, you will find authentic American fare sprinkled with Canadian and Mexican influences housed in opulent comfort and served with downright real American hospitality. For starters, these buffalo wings will have you craving for more. Described as real upstate New York flavour, they are more than Moorish. <laughs> these wings are awesome, mate. They're so gold. No, they're, it's literally the most authentic taste you'll get from America. Absolutely gold. The cedar plank salmon, literally cooked on a slice of wood to create a smoky flavour, is maple glazed and perfectly grilled. The crawfish or yabbies are Mississippi style, served in a creamy spice sauce with rice and will tantalise your taste buds. The Baltimore crab cakes are a traditional recipe from Maryland, served on blackened corn. The steaks are juicy, but for tender meat, I can't go past the ribs. We do about 100 kilos of these a week. Homemade, slow cooked. There's only one American word to say for that. Awesome! And if you think American portions are huge, well, they are. So, if there's room for dessert, you are guaranteed to love Gina's pumpkin pie, an all-American favourite. Well, tonight, I reckon I've earned my stars and stripes across the American food menu. We've served up enough to feed even the hungriest of presidents. Now, the only decision left for you is diner or opulence, a restaurant. Either way, you'll leave as full as the White House car park.